just to go through a bit of a common conditions. Um, talk about anemia, we have a low pack cell volume or low PCV. We need to differentiate what sort of anemia is it? Is it, uh, is it because, it, it, is it regenerating or not, uh, firstly? Uh, because it is not uncommon for us to lose blood, okay? Because let's say you've got a cut and you lose blood. But the question is, is your body regenerating it, okay? Um, and that is uh, more promising or more, uh, and, 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 uh, more normal than compared to a non-regenerative anemia, which means that the amount of red blood cells being destroyed is much more than red blood cells that's being formed. And know that a red blood cell has got a finite life span as well, usually about 60 days. So red blood cell doesn't last forever. At any one point of time in our body, the red blood cells are always dying, but new ones are forming. The question is, is more dying than forming or forming? Thrombocytopenia basically is talking about low platelets. It bleeds easily, it doesn't clot. That is a problem. In certain cases that we've seen or situations that we see, is, you know, sometimes there's unexplained bruising along the belly, where it's gravitational, it's just following the flow, or uh, when they have a little cut and it just does not stop bleeding, then we may suspect thrombocytopenia. Sometimes a liver disease okay, can happen as well, and for that you can sometimes see a high ALT, indicating a high amount of liver damage, and sometimes you can find a low albumin as well. If you remember, the low albumin, albumin is a little protein that the body, the, the liver actually makes uh, to, to uh, constitute or to contribute to the body mass. If there is a low albumin, you can ask yourself, is the liver functioning enough to produce an albumin or is there a problem with that? So a bowel duct damage. So this is where the bowel, the gallbladder, okay, is actually connected by a bowel duct leading to intestines. So sometimes when the area is damaged, it can uh, lead to a high ALP count and question mark high bowel acids as well, especially if the bowel acids is circulating in the blood rather than going into the body system. Potentially giving steroids can cause high ALP. Okay, so sometimes when we find high ALP, you can ask yourself, okay, has steroids been given recently? Because if steroids has been given recently, that well could explain why the ALP is falsely elevated compared to a specific problem that your animal has. We discussed briefly about diabetes. It usually reflects in a high glucose level. Sometimes it also reflects in a higher ALT and ALP because increase in glucose can cause pressure onto the liver causing issues as well. So there's more of a secondary associated problems with the liver to the diabetes as a primary problem rather than uh, a primary problem of the liver itself. Kidney insufficiency. So you usually get a high urea, high creatinine. Okay, It is usually worse if you also get a high phosphate. Okay, So comparatively to two animals, let's say two 15-year-old cats, they both have got elevated or high, uh, high urea and creatinine. If one of them has got higher phosphate and the other one has got normal phosphate, the one with a higher phosphate is said to be much more affected by this kidney problem compared to the one with the normal phosphate. Pushing it on, the next stage, okay, would be if there is also anemia because the kidney, uh, part of its function is to produce a, portion, a, a proportion of the uh, red blood cell needed for manufacturing red blood cell uh, to make more red blood cells. So if there's actually anemia as well, usually a non-regenerative anemia, it can indicate that the kidney has gone so far, not only does it have high urea, high creatine, high phosphate, it's also failed to contribute to the manufacture of red blood cell, uh, new red blood cells, and that is a problem. And that usually shows is the sort of end stage or much worse off compared to an animal with only a high urea and creatinine. We discussed briefly about Addison's. Addison's is another word, uh, is another term that we use for this particular condition called hypoadrenocorticism. Hypo means little, adrenal referring to the adrenal glands. Corticism is a steroid from the word cortisol. So Addison's disease or hypoadrenocorticism usually uh, reflects in a high potassium and low sodium, um, sort of a biochemistry results that we can see. It usually causes the animal to be quite weak, quite lethargic, and they can certainly uh, put on weight uh, without eating too much. They're just sluggish in general.